Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to Let's Build a Cruiser Thing in From the Depths. Now, so this thing is uh, pretty much almost done or at least as far as I can be bothered to finish it. I tend not to finish a lot of craft I build. My prototypes folder is huge and interesting. And But this thing's most of the way done. I've worked on it a little bit off camera. And, well, she can happily take on a plunderer now. She's uh, fast enough to get away with it. She puts out enough ducker to get away with it. It's quite nice. It did get tickled a little bit by flak. All, all looking pretty good. Now, there's a few things I've done uh, since the last time we had this thing on screen. The first and most important thing is... Well, she's still leaning a little bit. I have raised the... Oh my goodness. That's very loud. I have raised the uh, rudders a little bit higher so she doesn't roll so much. It needs to be along with the center of drag. And thank you for the people who pointed that out to me because I totally know that. But I forgot and I have a rotten habit of forgetting that kind of thing at the worst time. Probably still needs to go a little bit higher even. That's probably still too low. But she uh, still manages to not capsize. Gee, she really does roll a lot. That's one of the reasons I actually... Oh dear. That looked painful. Yeah, still doesn't have very heavily armored tarp. This is why it's... Like I said before, it's not a good idea to have your mantlets exposed, because that can happen. Oh dear. In any case, what else did I do? So, there's a lot more props underneath her. Please don't blow up the next turret. Thank you. So, there's a lot more props strung out underneath her, so she goes a whopping 21 to 22 meters per second. She has a torpedo popper underneath her, very handy, even though the plunder, I believe, doesn't have guided torpedoes anymore. And I have to say that this uh, layered alloy, alloy on the side does a pretty decent job as armor. Despite the fact that uh, with, with everything I've been learning about armor recently, it's probably not arranged that well. Like vertically, uh, vertically oriented beams, as I have found out, actually works much better for a number of reasons. But yeah, I might fix that off camera because I don't know. Like I don't really feel like reorientating, like pretty much every damn beam that's in this thing, so we're just gonna roll with it for now. And what else, what else? Oh dear, uh, that hurt. Okay, so what else, what else? I've replaced the deck. This is reinforced wood, you see here, and layered with alloy, and that's just uh, kind of to help it stay upright a little bit better, although it's doing way too good a job, actually. Yeah, I need to readjust the rudders again, I'm guessing. So let us do that right now. Let's get busy. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, I've messed with the superstructure a little bit and put idle azimuth on the simple lasers. There's always a balance with this. I've thought about like moving all the detection, including the trackers, onto the superstructure, but uh, I'm no, I don't know. I'll need to do a lot more testing to see how much I can get away with. First things first, I'm going to jam these rudders up a little bit higher again because this this uh, this bothers me. It does. There. What is this? That is a three meter beam. Why is that a three meter beam? Oh, that's why it's a three meter beam. If I do that, and if I do that, if I do that, what are we looking at here? We can do this. No, we can't. We can. We gotta. We will now make a nice little hole air gap thing for Hesh to ruin our lives. Yay! Nope, can't get away with that. And but can get away with this. What's this? Ah, we can get away with this. Excellent. So, are you still going to bounce all over the place? Oh yeah, that's that's better. Why the heck didn't I do that to begin with? Ah, silly me. Cruise the thing, save over there, and now let's see if you... What's a fat thing that'll last for a while? Let's go here. I love... Let's shoot at the bailey for a little bit. Oh my god, that's loud. That needs to stop being so loud. Still rolling around a bit. 
I did also get rid of some of the recoil absorbers in the guns and put surge protectors in instead, because, oh my god, why? I thought I fixed you. This is silly. What is going on? Hmm. You know what? That's a long-term problem. Actually, hold on. Are the hydrophores actually doing what they're supposed to? Yeah, they're doing what they're supposed to. What the heck? What the heck, man? And I know that people are screaming me right now to use PIDs. I still prefer not to use PIDs. And I don't- don't ask me why. I can totally do that right here. It would, in fact, make sense. I don't know, but, uh... Instead, I'm just gonna turn the... What's it call it? The thing down. What's the thing? This thing, so... How long is this craft? It's 80, so let's... Bump this to 80. And let's turn on the bay leaf again. That changed nothing. Okay, I appear to have made things worse. How have I made things worse? The whole damn thing is just too tall. It's too, too, too tall, I say. Too tall, okay. Well, that's annoying. Damn it, not what I meant to do. Okay, so, number of things we could do here. We could stick more hydrofoils in the... Actually... Hmm. Let's see what happens if we just get rid of the hydrofoils right in the front, because they might not be helping that much. Friggin... water. Okay, so then we do it again, and bay leaf. Still Tokyo drifting like a champ, but... Huh. That seems to have helped a bit. That looked painful. What happened? Nothing! Okay, that seems to have done the trick. That's nice. Well, it'll do for now at the very least. Ah, uh, Croft. Okay, so the main plan... Oh no, there we go. God... God hello? Whoa, okay. See, normally... Um, stringing props underneath the thing doesn't uh, cause that. But I guess it does in this case. Hmm... What the... Did the... Drag got lowered a bit. I don't know. Let me think, let me think. What, what happens if we do this now? Do, 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 do. Nap ah, still does it. What the knobs, bro? Oh my god, that made things worse. Whoa, okay. Alright, I think I've established that there is too much rudder for this thing. Right, so let's try... See, this is annoying. I've built any number of ships, and this happens, well, not every time, but enough times to just make me wonder, like... Hmm. Well, let's just stick it way up there and see if that works. No, it isn't. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. There's 
there are benefits to ships twisting and moving around that much, but uh, mainly it looks terrible. And you'd think that the center of ma okay, it's it's the damn recoil. Let's try that. Let's just let's go completely nuts and put lots of recoil dampeners on this thing. Is that going to catch on things? No, it is not. Does it look ugly? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so bad. Ew. Oh well. What are you going to do? Well, apart from something else. But what else can you do? Damn, not that. I keep forgetting that that does not... Okay. Okay, sir. Repair, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very please. Huh, did I do the other one like that? Oh well, I have now. So having done that and... Actually that doesn't look... Well, it, it does look pretty bad, but let's see if that actually helps a bit. Oh, I think that's helped. Oh, I think that's helped a lot. Or has it? Oh, no, not again. Okay, that's helped considerably. Why didn't I do that before? Well, I did do that before, but why didn't I do it harder before? Okay, cool. That worked. And, uh, ye gods. Receiving water uh, I've done that every time. Do I have an excuse? No. My excuse is 30 degree weather. And the fact I'm in a hot, stuffy room. Okay, what else can we do? Firstly, well, for a start, we have 8,000 engine power. Receiving. Returning to that's used. And not an awful lot is used by the props. Well, about... One th oh my god, really? Really? Please stop that. Okay, that does it. That does it. You have buoyant bits that shouldn't be buoyant. See, this is what happens if you go, if you leave a craft for a while. Actually, it's not what happens when you leave a craft for a while. It is... Let's not do that. That thing which you were doing... I could... I should totally make these vertical beams, by the way. But I'm not going to for, I don't know, mysterious reasons of my own. Do, 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 do. And here I was saying I wasn't going to replace a whole bunch of beams in this uh, video. And look, look here what I'm doing. From the Depths doesn't care for your plans. From the Depths does what it does. And this is what, what the hell kind of cruiser is this going to be with the amount of armor down here? This is, this is already going to be three meters of metal, not counting uh, actually four meters of metal here. Jeez. So much for being light and fast. Well, it could still be fast, but... Yeah. Probably not. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This could be one of those builds. The one... The, you know the kind. The kind that goes straight in the scrap bin. Or just sits in the prototype folder for the rest of time. I don't think that this might not be my best work. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Because I think part of the problem is is that uh, lower parts of the ship are too buoyant. Because, like, it's weird. Like, uh, even if you know exactly how to make a ship nice and balanced, like, you can still have real problems with that. So here it is, very low in the water. I didn't finish doing what I was supposed to do. Silly me. Silly, silly, silly me. Do-do-do. 
Do do do. So I've been communicating with uh, some of the audience who are in North America, which is apparently really friggin' cold right now, or at least the bits that can get really cold. Ohio, Chicago, apparently you lot are having a delightfully freezing winter temperatures. And uh, I'm sorry to hear that, but like honestly, I would love a tiny bit of freezing winter temperatures right now because, jeez, jeez, man. I should stick some hydrofoils in the back, actually. I would love a tiny bit of freezing. Just a, just a little bit, mind you. I'm not crazy. I know perfectly well that too much freezing is bad. Do, 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 do. This is very slapdash, what I'm doing right now. Very slapdash. Because if you embrace hydrofoils, you must... Fully embrace Ida Falls. Yeah, that's very irritating. Jeez, man. Stop rolling. I fixed the... Taking command. Stop it. Okay. Let's go get really cray-cray and stick you way up here. Returning to formation you're gonna pop straight out of the water and oh god no that didn't help that did not help what is going on why do i made a ship the other day that has well it has been shown on the channel before it was in where was it it was in the it was in the omega nightmare most wanted and it was in the new missiles video it's a doesn't have a name, it's the Big Lamb's Diff thing. That thing does not turn. No matter what I or anyone else does, it refuses to turn properly, and this thing is just refusing to stay... Well, to stay upright. I should... Screw it. I'm not going to use a PID, but I am going to use something very similar. So just you wait. I have recently discovered complex controls, and I really love complex controls, so we're going to use them. I'm just gonna pop these things down here, so that's pitch. No, that's roll. Okay. Be familiarize myself every time with these, so. Okay. Down into the wet space. Why is this wet space so huge? What was I think? What moron built this cr- Okay. Yes, you got me. It was me. Damn, why is this two meters thick? Ye gods, like... Uh, yeah. This is like writing an essay, coming back to it ages later, and then realize, then looking at it and thinking, like, what complete idiot wrote this, and realizing it was you! It was you! All along, it was you. Okay, so I don't have room for huge, for big propellers. That's very irritating. Very irritating. So let's stick lots of little ones in instead. I wonder if this will work. Hey. Okay, so what was it? Okay, vehicle roll within... I always have to imagine a clock for this, so... Vehicle roll is within 10. Accent comes in U. It's U and J, so... U on this side. I think I... Always get this wrong first time, by the way. Okay, so if we do that... Turning to formation. That, yep, I got it wrong. I got it completely Taking wrong. First, I, I love myself when it comes to these things. Because I always get it backwards on the first try. 
Let's try that again. Returning to formation. Is that helping? It is not helping. God, God damn, man. It's helping a little bit. But enough. Freaking. Actually, what is it for? If it looks like I doesn't know what I'm doing, it's, uh, well, you are half right, because every time I build a new thing, I try something new, and it's always a different problem that, uh, results as a result. So let's dial that way the hell down. Do, do, do. So it starts earlier. Is that even better? I don't even know. God damn it. Gosh, dingle damn. Are these things even working? Hmm. Maybe I just need more of them. I love this button. I've only discovered this button recently, but it's fantastic. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Oh cool, that seems to have done something. I know some people are going to look at this and think, oh my god, that's nasty, and uh, you are perfectly entitled to think that, and he thinks, because what is here? Nothing. Let's fix that. Because, uh, yeah, the underside of a ship probably shouldn't look like this. Love a butterscotch pudding. This. Okay, no, 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 no. that might work, but Receiving. let's have you do a hard turn. And here I was thinking I wouldn't be able to make this video stretch to an hour. Oh uh, boy, how wrong was I? Can you please friggin' stop doing that? I'm gonna turn. I'm going to up the turning circle quite a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. And if, for those of you who are looking at this and thinking, duh, it's obvious what you're doing wrong. No. No, it is not. I know this because when I've had trouble with the craft before, as I said, like, people much better at this game than I, than me, have tried and failed to fix it. So, I just have a knack for building ships that do not play nice with themselves, actually. I just saved the damn thing in Fleet Move. Oh, please, no. Are the Hydro Force doing anything? They're doing something. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? Taking command. I'll deal with that later. In the meantime, what do we got? We've got lots of this. We've got spare engine power. And when you have a lot of engine power, there's any number of things you can do with it. You can make lambs, you can have lots of shields, or you can make the thing go fast. Or you can have lots of ammunition processes, whatever tickles your fancy. I am going to stick lots of Deadly Blades in this thing because currently shields are really crap and I don't care for them at all. Oh, look at that! Autowise is cross-hatching by accident. I know it's not by accident. It's by design, I say. Design! Don't you love design? Oh, jeez, what is now? What now? Okay, nope. Nope, you go down there, sir. Yes! What a good air pump doing what I tell you to do. What is this? Come on. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? What we have here? Is a little deadly blade stick area. I 
Ay, ay, ay. This might be a scrap heap job, by the way. Some, a lot of my craft end up there. Just because... I don't know. I just have an uncanny knack for... Do I have... I do, why do I not have a propulsion daddy blade thing? Do, do, do. I'm just going to make... Do, 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 do. Water dive, no, no, no. Which way is it facing? That's facing up. That's lovely. Uh, my bird. Now, I remember there was a... something... people have figured out, like, the optimum ratio of Deadly Blade poles to blades. I've forgotten what that is. It's something... it's surprising. It is more poles than blades, to be perfectly honest. So, if we do that, and if we do this... See, I know how to use fill. I listen to you guys. I love you guys. You guys make me happy. And if we go way over thought there was a hole in the deck for a second so if we go back over here I have okay, those things are in use uh, that thing is right there it's doing a good job I'm going to okay so blah, 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 way over here control propulsion command forward and da -da -da -da, spin long I think that's it. I think that's it. Do -do -do. Copy, then, then, and paste. If propulsion man is none, set the value to zero. Then I'm gonna stick an ACB in the front, which will stop this thing from uh, flying into space. So. And. Whoop, mm -mm -mm. Copy. Do -do -do. Stick you, sir. Back here. Carefully hidden. Do, do, do. Paste, and it's going to be. You go attitude. Altitude. Altitude is within that, and 10. Set that to 0. Priority is higher, so that goes. And I'm going to stick a bunch of surge protectors next to it. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see if this works. Returning to formation. Yep, they're going. Not as fast as I'd like, actually, but. Hmm. Did I do that right? Fraction. Okay. We need more Diddy Blades. Or rather, let's see. Let's figure. Let's do some science just while we're here. Why did I do that? I have a prefab. Use your prefab, dude. Oh yes, it just, uh, I just remembered that, what the, why are the blades still there? I just remembered that, yes, I know some people think that internal daddy blades are cheesy, and that's fine, I don't disagree with you, but I like using them simply because it's a great way to make things go fast, and they, the, ah, the, what's it, the power density of them and the space they take up and their cost it seems balanced to me so returning to formation 
this thing is not going as fast as I would like it. I was expecting it to go like boom. Taking command. Well, easily fixed. By easily fixed, I mean we go down here and we stick more of them down here. Why are you here? Go over here. This might thing might not. No, 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 no. This thing is gonna be declared done. What am I looking at? Okay, that's what I'm looking at. I, this thing is gonna be declared done this episode, no matter what, because pretty sure no one wants to look at this thing any more than they want to. So, where's that prefab? It's a lovely prefab. So, what is that? Drive after 10. This, 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 this. How expensive is this? It's not. I would like to keep this craft below one. Ah, damn it. Below uh, ten thousand. Not ten thousand. What am I saying? Uh, below one hundred thousand materials. We'll see if that's feasible. Making it fast is often a good way of achieving that. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Okay, so if I tell you to fleet move now, how fast is you? Okay, that's faster. Yay, we have hit 30 meters per second. We still have spare engine power, though. You know what? These wussy little propellers. Wussy, I tell you. They're just... They're just, you know, they're just, they're just wussy. They're not doing anything. Get rem okay, where are we? What What's on the left? On the left is you, green you, red J. What's on the right is green J, red U. And now I'm going to not bother to remember that, instead copy off clip code. These little propellers, I tell you, not good enough. Do, 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 do. And now I'm doing this bit blind, which is uh, completely recommended. Do, do, do. This sticky outfit here. Let's make you useful. Let's just stick a thing down here. Right there. This is going to really, really upset people's aesthetics. Okay, what was it? Did I forget what it was? I think I did, but. Was it that, but reversed? Let's see if that does the trick. Oh, that's doing it! Oh wow! Look at that! Look at that being bloody beautiful! See, that is the magic of PIDs, or in this case, complex control. Oh, mwah, mwah. so lovely! Mmm, yes. Mm. I'm going to now jack up the turning circle again. <laughs> jack. I don't know why I did that. I'm, I'm once again, my brain's, I'm weird in the summer, okay? That is, I don't know, I don't do memes, but make a meme. Border wires goes crazy in the summer. It's the heat, I tell you, cooks the brain. Freaking now, what did I do before I figured out roll Th things like what did I do what how did I live how did I boat now we're motoring on quite nicely we have lots of engine power <laughs> we're gonna stick more deadly blades in the bottom don't stop me now I'm crazy I'm crazy I'm not entirely sure what I'm up to but uh, I'm doing that whatever that happens to be I'm doing it because we've got all this empty space right here, and it's so lovely. So good. So loverly and good. 
Is this going to backfire horribly? Maybe. We should probably save the vehicle. Vehicle. And this is, this is definitely going to tip it over 100k. Gosh, dingle damn. Oh no, don't tell me. Did I do that thing? Okay. Okay, no. We're good. We're good in the we are good in the neighborhood. Doop doop doop. Possibly not the wisest thing to make incredibly long deadly blade poles. Because if one of them gets broken, that's it. It's broken. It stops working. So, how much boat do we have? We have a lot of boat left. Ah. Okay, cruiser thing. When I'm done here, I want you to motor along at Mach three, at least. Or is there, is there a size limit on these? Okay, let's see how fast you go. Returning to formation. Look at you scuttling along at very fast. Eh, still not as fast as I'd like. We still have engine power left over. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna put shields around the superstructures is what we're gonna... Wow, look at that. Ooh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Returning to formation right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, she's a bouncy, beautiful thing. Uh, base exposed props are ugly. Like, I admit, I know. Stop shouting at me. It's very ugly. I know, I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. This thing is not winning a beauty contest no matter what. Okay. So, how much do we got to work with? We're going to stick four shields in here. Four, I say. Four. I'm going to stick an ACB on here as well. So, where is shield control? Shield control is down here. Probably need this is here as well. Do we have any ammo processors? I do not know. I do not know. Where is the ammo processor control? We will have that right here. This is exposed horribly, but that's okay. We've got sloped armor in here. How is this thing still under 1k, considering that the thing has so much metal and actually wasted space in here? I don't know. I don't know, so... Let's turn turning, off turning off and spawn in a friendly marauder so we can turning off. play with our shields properly. This is, there is a lot of space in here. I should I should stick more deadly blades in. <gasps> Borderwise, you're a genius. You are a mad genius. Mad, I tell you. Mad, I tell you. Mad, I tell you. Mad, mad, mad. Okay, let's see. I've I'm yes, I'm getting distracted. I know. Be quiet. I'm having a good time. Actually, don't be quiet. Engage in pleasurable conversation amongst yourselves. Have a good time. Speak of your loved ones to each other. Go outside after you watch this video, of course, and do something nice for someone. Wish someone a Merry Christmas. And yes, I know Christmas is over. It has been for some time. Wish him a Happy, happy Christmas anyway. And then uh, they'll give you a funny look and you won't have made any friends that day. What was I doing? Ah, shield, right. So here we are. Here we are. I'm going to stick a one shield right here. This is definitely going to... Yep, this is going to tip it over. Ah, there it went. Okay. So apparently anything below strength 3 is a waste of your damn time with shields, so... Alrighty, so... Width... Height... I don't know why... Why... I wish shields would s For those of you who do not know, I hate shields. I really freaking hate shields. They 
are my least favorite part of this game. There's... I don't know. Even... I like particle cannons more than shields these days. That's how much I hate shields. They... Just... They're... They suck. They're, they, they are just terrible. I do not like them. They... They make me sad. What the hell is going on here? Ay, 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 ay. Friggin' shields, man. Shields! Not... Noob. 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 No. Fiddly. Annoying. Fiddly. Annoying. Annoying and fiddly. 35. Strength 3. Copy. Uh, that didn't do the trick. No. 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 Ay, 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 ay. Friggin'. Don't like shields. Do not like them. Wish they would go away, in fact. That shield's bigger than it needs to be. So we're gonna dial the height down. Now it's a now it's annoying. Okay. Fair enough. Fine. Fine! Fine, fine, fine. It's okay, it's fine. Did I mention I didn't have a plan? Well, I did have a plan. The plan was stick deadly blades all over this thing, see how much you can get away with. That was the extent of my plan, oi. That was it. That was extent of plan. Am I getting away with anything here? No, no I am not. Why would I get away with anything? Do I look like a getting away with things person? I think I'm... Ugh, I think I'm officially gone heat crazy. Uh, you freaking... That is pretty terrible shield placement. That is awful. Never do this. Never do this. Jesus, the, the freaking! I hate how much power shields use. I really do. They suck. They awful things. Terrible. Listen to me, wine. Listen to me, wine. Listen to me, make wine on divine. Okay, so if I get you to move... Taking command or enable. Well, we're using all power, that's for sure. Well, we can mandle that. Will that stop frags? Probably not. Don't have much of a choice, though. I'm starting to get weirdly fond of this thing, though. Okay, so we will call that that with the shields. Just a little bit, so we can tell when the things are on. I like black shields. I don't like any shields at all, but uh, if I had to pick any shields, which I kind of liked, black shields would probably be it, because it looks funky. It looks funky and cool. Just faint black lines there. And that's mostly just to stop timed frags from ruining my life. Okay, so that seems a pretty efficient use of power. Could probably dial down how many roll props I need, actually. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, you can stop right there. I need to fix these turrets right here. I need to fix them. I have learned that putting wood on your turrets as EMP defense uh, does not work and is not worth your time, so. Interesting. This thing. Okay. I am preemptively going to do a thing right here. Color 4, paste, apply. E -e. I can do this. And what is this? That is, I want a square corner. Square corner. Doesn't that look like... No, it doesn't. It looks like... 
It looks like poop. It looks, in fact, like poop. Let's, uh, do this. Still looks like poop. Let's do... This? Okay, slightly less like poop. Let's roll with that. And... I know that I should possibly just save that sub-object and do the same over here, but nah. Nah, nah, nah. Why do things the easy way when you can do it the hard way? Does that look better? That looks slightly better. I don't know. That, nah, not, that doesn't look good at all. Let's face it. Let's face it! This thing is not going to be pretty. I have accepted my fate as uh, the one who makes ugly looking things. So, 1k. Can take on a plunderer. No missiles or torpedoes. Too expensive to be a starter craft, really. Well, everyone has different definitions of, like, how much a starting craft should be. Um, I'm gonna stick more rudders on this thing. I'm gonna stick more rudders. More, I say, and then I'm gonna turn the turning circle way down. Ha 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 ha, what? Hollow bum, hollow bum. What am I doing with this hollow bum? I don't know. That doesn't look terrible, apart from the exposed props that I don't feel like doing anything about right now. You gotta do what you feel, guys. You gotta go with the flow. You gotta go with the flow. Do what you wanna do. See the world, make a little love. I was actually talking to a girl about that the other day. She was, like, saying, like... Well, she did describe to me how she's into BDSM. If you don't know what that is, and you are below the age of 18, please do not Google that. Uh, your parents will kill me. But, yeah, interesting character. Uh, what else can I do? I guess I can paint it, and then I can call it a day. So, painting... Now, I happen to know, for a fact, that... Painting is generally one of people's least favorite parts of this game because, well, it, it's, it takes a while and it's somewhat tedious. However, I have to say that painting is one of my favorite bits of this game. It just, it just is because it's like, it's the satisfying feeling of, ha, ah, I've built a thing. Now I can relax and make it pretty. So I really only bothered making things pretty with the paint job. Oh my god. Mirror mode wasn't on. Why? Why, I say? So, and it occurs to me that there's a million different things I could possibly be doing with this little build. Like, what am I missing out on? It's got uh, close range defense, so hopefully it's not going to get blown up by a tiny annoying suicide draft. It's got... what else has it got? It has big guns and it cannot lie. It's got superstructure, it's got torpedo defense, it's got uh, missile countermeasures. Did I, did I show the missile countermeasures in the last one? I must have. I must have, because like, they were there when I found this thing again. If I didn't put uh, those countermeasures on uh, in the last uh, episode, I am sorry, I lost track. Whoopsies! See, I love painting. Painting, painting makes me happy. It makes me much happy, much happy. And that's another reason to use vertical beams rather than like too lo too late to do anything. Well, it's not too late. It's ah, it's uh, not too late to do anything about it. I just cannot be stuffed to do it on camera. I will let you know somehow if I ever do it off camera. But yep, 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 yep. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Ah, yes, the vertical... Vertical beams, possibly, possibly cross-hatching. Like, last, last video, jeez, like, uh, I came across as way too negative about cross-hatching. If that's... If, uh, you know why that is, it's because I didn't really believe people when I, they told me it was good. Because people have, to have told me information that they've sworn by and it's turned out to be wrong before. And I tested it, and I guess I had res residual skepticism. I didn't actually fully want to believe what I was seeing in my own tests, which was not very cool of me, so sorry about that. 
But yeah, cross hatching is not bad. I can say that now. It's just not as good as people led me to believe. It's only a little bit better in some ways. Cue the comments saying, haha, told you. You were wrong. I was right. Blah, blah, blah. I have no life, therefore I must uh, mock YouTubers. I didn't, I didn't, I don't mean that. Like, people who comment. Most people who comment are awesome. And I love them. Keep doing that, you awesome people. Do, 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 do. What the? There's a hole right here. That won't do. That won't do at all. What's this? That is a four meter thing. You know what that means? Two meter beam. Uh, as for, I do believe that in the, not the last video, the one before that, that uh, someone said that I was beaming inefficiently. Yes, I was. I have to admit, I'm using way too many two and three meter beams in this craft. Because ideally you should use, whenever you place a block, it should be a four meter beam. A structural block in particular. Four meter beams for the win. Because that's, that is good. That's what works. That's, it's got bonus health and everything. It's very good value for money. However, I did not do that and, well, like, you might as well start over again, really. Oftentimes, like, instead of trying to retrofit a craft to make it actually usable, or, for that matter, trying to fix a craft that's not working to make it usable, it's just better to start over. Like, you better believe that the next time I attempt a cruiser, I'm gonna try not to repeat the mistakes I've made with this one, because I definitely have made mistakes. Like, I don't know, I don't like how tall this thing is, I don't like how the fact that it needs roll thrusters, because if you know how to build a ship properly, it shouldn't need props underneath in order to keep it stable. And I know there's a lot of people in the audience who love their PIDs, fair enough, like, you figured it out probably way before I did, but... I feel that really, you sh in order to really say you know how to build a ship, it shouldn't need a cr crutches. And this thing is full of crutches. It's got the, it's got hydrofoils. It's got the roll, it's got the roll thrusters underneath. It's just, it's a, it, this thing is one massive crutch, in fact, one big fat crutch that doesn't even look like a realistic cruiser. What am I doing with my life? I guess, uh, why is this thing, why did I even call this thing a cruiser? Like, it's like, it's not like it can really fit into any realistic, uh, ship category, but honestly, like, what the heck, what would you call this thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna paint the other side red. Watch me go. I only recently dis discovered that I like to paint the underside of things red. I don't know, it just, it's just cool. The Steel Strider ships do it a lot, and just... I cannot for the life of me explain why, but it just looks right. It just, you know, it looks like the underside of a ship when it's red. Don't, I don't know why. Possibly, like some of you know exactly why, and you can tell me and everyone else. But I don't know, it just looks right. It, lo it looks and really feels right. And when it looks and feels right, then, well, it probably is right, except when it's not. Except uh, when your confidence has led you astray, and you are dead wrong, and that's no good. I just remembered I should probably stick repair bots on this thing. Oh, well. And material storage. Oh, my God. I'm painting prematurely. No. I'm sad now. I'm not really sad. I'm just hot. Hot and sticky, and there's a cruiser and everything. I guess we can call it a cruiser because, well, it's fast enough to be one now. Like, as far as I'm aware, and I know the naval buffs are going to correct me no matter what, a cruiser is meant to be a bigger than a destroyer, smaller than a battleship, and it's meant to be fast and lightly armored. And a battle cruiser is a cruiser with battleship grade weapons. A light cruiser is a cruiser that's even lighter than usual, and I don't know any other kind of cruiser types. Super cruisers? Cruiser weights? Nah, that's boxing. I don't know, man. Maybe I should try and make a replica ship someday. But actually, would, would you people like to see that? Probably be a complete disaster since I have n not the first idea how to do that. Excuse me. 
Oh, I've painted this thing. Cool. Well, I haven't painted the superstructure and probably need to repaint the turrets because they are in fleet colors and will change. What shall we find? I actually kind of like the superstructure as it is. I like the wood. Yeah, I like that. Let's save that right there. And I'm just going to quickly stick some material storage in here. And uh, uh, how many repair bots do you say? Three repair bots. Only three. I have repented my evil ways. And by that I mean I'm going to stick only two repair bots. Why are they red? No, I know why they're red. Shush. Shush. Shush me. Ah! Me, be quiet. Oh god. What am I doing? Okay, there we are. There we are. It's okay. Everyone relax. Got it under control. Got it under control, I say. <laughs> if a Heatron manages to get through, it's going to ruin my life. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. That's probably enough. Yeah, I would need to repaint those targets. Well, do I really? No, I do. I do. I must. I must do that now. Like now. Now, I say. While there's still time. While there's still time. Yes. Yes, that looks slightly less garbage. Slightly less garbage. Didn't do it right. Didn't do it right, I say. Didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. Why didn't I do it right? Why am I whispering? You probably can't even hear that. Okay, let's save. Let's save and let's uh, fling it at something that'll uh, wreck its uh, face completely. Let's uh, let something that wrecks face. Buccaneer, that wrecks face. It is nice that this thing scuttles along at 30 meters per second. Whee! Are we winning yet? Don't think so. Oh, look at us dodging stuff. Isn't that nice? Okay, never mind. That is a lot of shells. You better kill the buccaneer before it kills you, honey. Why did I just call a ship honey? That's weird. We're winning, barely. How much does the... Okay, the Buccaneer is a little bit more expensive. If this works, it'll be... Uh-oh. 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 SpaghettiOs. Buccaneer might be out of reach of this little craft. By little craft, I mean... Did you wreck my engine, you bastard? Yep. Oh dear. Well, the Buccaneer I happen to know was made by Rosefall, who is way better at this game than I am. So, uh, while my uh, ship, uh, which is, oh uh, well, finished for now, I don't think I'm going to make, make another video on this thing unless people really want me to. Um, I guess that's it. So, as my ship gets pounded into the sea... Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build. Let me know what you want to see me build next. Because, well, as of right now, my brain's cooked and I can't think of anything. But I'm sure you lot have ideas. So, let me know. Did I give my whole spiel? Yes, I did. Farewell.